Hello, today's the big day. I have the winners of the Instagram challenge so wrapped. It's been another fantastic challenge. So I hope that you enjoyed it too and were inspired by all of the different wrap garments. I know there are some patterns that were new to me, which is fantastic. Um, I love that. Uh, there were so many different wraps um, that people were entering into the sewing challenge. Wrap pants and skirts and jackets and jumpsuits and dresses and tops and some other uh, unique items like a um, there was a wrap pinafore which was really cute and it was great to see the range of because of the range of garments that you could sew in the contest there were lots of different fabrics you know from coating fabrics and outerwear fabrics to really light um, you know drapey fabrics so that was great also I loved seeing so many new people on Instagram so it was great that you know the the sewing challenge gave you that little push to get on Instagram and I know it can be confusing and tagging and hashtags and how it all is but you've made a start and I'm sure now that you're gaining lots of sewing friends and can look into this whole new Instagram sewing community which is wonderful it's a wonderful place to spend some time so now the announcements let's get to it so our first two winners actually did some self-drafting so the winner of three Atelier Scamet PDF patterns is educated dress now this was a fantastic dress i love the contrasting blue and the black it looks stunning this was actually based on a designer dress and if you go into educated dresses um, instagram page and look at her um, saved stories you can see the evolution of this dress and her various twiles she based it on two patterns but there's a lot of um, you know a lot of work that's gone into recreating that designer dress so congratulations to you educated dress the winner of three closet core PDFs and in particular they're the LED Veronique and Fiore the winner is my creative identity and this was a beautiful self-drafted um, dress based on a traditional Nepali dress so it has a beautiful wrap that um, ties at four points so it's under both under the arms and at the waist and it's attached to a beautiful half circle skirt the fabric was found at an uh, op shop second hand shop and what a find that was it's beautiful and we just love it we love it so congratulations to my creative identity the next two winners both made loungewear so the winner of the sewing and the city prize of an online course and that online course includes five pdf patterns and a wonderful course that goes through the intricacies of making lingerie you know from lace insertion and working with beautiful fabrics so the winner of that prize is Jen, Le Jen Legtis Creatives and this was a beautiful ensemble but the the entry is actually the you know the wrap top and it was pattern McCall's 7875 and the reason we loved it is just the the contrasting fabric that beautiful floral fabric set against that plain really bright pink and um, the the quilting of the pink 
you know, against the floral fabrics, gorgeous. And um, she's worn it with some matching um, PJ pants, which is really cute. So we loved that. So congratulations, Jen, on your fantastic, you know, luxury um, pajamas. The other winner in the, you know, loungewear category was Puss in Docks. So this is Sharon's entry and she made the beautiful named patterns. Uh, I should have worked out how to pronounce this beforehand. Um, the la, um, Leia. Leia, I think that's it. A beautiful robe in a brushed cotton, uh, a Japanese brushed cotton. And we just love the way that she's used that print and um, how she's positioned those pattern pieces and highlighted the different parts of what I think must be a border print, uh, including the, you know, the contrasting pockets. So that was our second robe winner or loungewear winner. So congratulations, Sharon. I spoke a little bit too soon because there's another winner who made a loungewear item and this winner um, used a vintage pattern. So the winner of the now and then trio of PDF patterns and they are three blouse patterns, the Richmond, Amelia and Clara. The winner of those three patterns is Rosie Sews Vintage. Now this was a great entry, um, Rosie I'm assuming, Rosie's the name of the entrant, she used a vintage Vogue pattern from the 1950s. I don't think the pattern is actually for a bed jacket but she used it to make this bed jacket and she made it in a um, an upholstery fabric, a curtain and then lined that with a beautiful complementary colour and then not that it was part of the competition but just the um, pyjama pants that she made um, you know drew on the colours that were in that bed jacket so it's just a really as she describes sumptuous bed ensemble so a gorgeous idea wonderful entry congratulations Rosie so the next trio of winners all made evening dresses. So the winner of four PDF patterns from I Am Patterns is Tracy Joy Knight. And she made a beautiful knit dress out of this sensational, what I think is a, a border print in a um, really fine knit fabric. And it, I love the way that she used that border print and, um, you know, so the more heavily embellished area um, is on the shoulders. So it's got a lovely ruche detail and uh, it's just a great, a great dress. So congratulations, Tracy. The next prize for an evening dress wins two Megan Nielsen patterns and the winner of that prize is Amy of Melbourne. Congratulations Amy. Amy made a beautiful Halloween dress using the Reggie wrap dress pattern from Seamwork. It's a fantastic looking pattern. She made it in a spiderweb design flocked tulle and it just looked sensational. So congratulations, Amy. The next prize is three Doretta Davies PDF patterns. And the winner of that prize is Sunshine Sews. Now this was another beautiful evening dress. This was made in a um, sequined viscose jersey and it was a, um, a Vogue pattern, a Donna Cara New York and the number is 1027 and it's just stunning. Beautiful surplus bodice and lovely um, A-line skirt. So congratulations on your prize. The next two winners I'm sort of calling Collar Love because they both made wrap dresses but they had 
collars which I thought was lovely. So the first of those wins two PDF patterns from Fibre Mood and the winner of those patterns is Yoga Bird Sews. Now this was um, entered pretty early on in the contest but I kept on thinking about it. It's lovely. It's a sensational bright bold large scale abstract print and it's just beautiful lots of yellow and blue and I love the way that um, the bodice sort of contrasts the yellow and blue really beautifully and the pattern has beautiful full sleeves it's really got a great you know sleek skirt but this collar on it also is fantastic fantastic and um, I'm not sure if I've said this but it's a Mimi G pattern the numbers that um, Bird has in her post don't correlate so I'm, I'm going to have to investigate which Mimi G pattern it is because I love it so congratulations on your prize so the next prize is four PDF patterns from P and M patterns and the winner of this prize is Louise Santry Sews. Now Louise made another collared wrap dress and you don't often see them so it was really interesting. Uh, I certainly know about sewing mason but I didn't know about this atlas wrap dress and it looks fantastic. Uh, I love I love that um, that wrap and um, Louise mentions that it's a really interesting construction and I just love the the long sleeves the shorter length and the really bold fabric um, and it was a rayon fabric so yes another great dress so congratulations Louise the next prize is sponsored by named patterns and it's four PDF patterns and the winner of this prize made a coat and the winner is So Andy Sews. This was a beautiful coat and I kept on seeing little progress shots um, in my Instagram feed and um, was very excited by it. Um, Andy made the Jennifer Lauren wrap um, it's called the Willow Wrap Coat by Jennifer Lauren Handmade. Um, there aren't many details of the make in, um, in Andy's Instagram feed, but Andy has a YouTube channel and I have actually got, you know, these episodes queued to watch when I finally get to do some more sewing hopefully this weekend so I um, I can't tell you too much about the details because I still haven't watched those episodes but it looks to be in a boiled wool and it's a beautiful beautiful color and um, the uh, lining I believe it's it matches so it's the same teal color lining so beautiful uh, it's an um, gorgeous um, pattern and that statement collar is just everything and how practical in cooler climates to have that extra warmth around your shoulders just when you where you need it so we loved this coat so congratulations Andy so following up from Andy's blue coat I've got two more winners who made garments in in plain colors and the first of these wins four patterns from Sew House 7 and the winner is Emma so and so now Emma made the most luxurious and beautiful LED in LED wrap dress by Closet Core Patterns in a an emerald green color and the fabric is a silk viscose blend and she included a little video um, in her post so you can see it move and it just fits like a glove and it's just stunning so congratulations to you Emma so another garment in a plain color so this person wins two 
Fiber Mood PDF patterns. And the winner of this prize is SP Workspace. Now, this sewist made a sensational dress in a really beautiful color. It's an orange, orangey gold color, and it's um, she used an indie pattern designer that I hadn't heard of. So, if you hadn't heard of this one too, go and have a look because they have some great patterns. And um, so, the designer is called the Bold One. And this dress pattern is the Rossi wrap dress. And if you go and have a look uh, on the Bold One site, you can see that there's lots of variations. Um, so anyway, this was such a striking dress in such an unusual color. And that wrap feature just looked so good and was sort of showed off so well um, because of that color. So anyway, another wonderful and um, another wonderful dress. So congratulations, SP Workspace. So I think it's about time we had a wrapped skirt in the mix of winners. So this sewist made a beautiful wrapped skirt and incorporated I think four different fabrics. It's frilly and gorgeous and just we loved it. This sewist wins five PDF patterns from Pattern Emporium which actually seems quite appropriate because this sewist used a Pattern Emporium pattern. Um, they made the Bohemian skirt. So the winner of that prize is Apparel Australie uh, Lee. Uh, what a great dress, well, sorry, skirt this was. I, well, we both, when I say I, it's Kristen and I, we love the fabrics, the combination of fabrics that Lee used. Uh, that ruffle is beautiful. Uh, and it just looks just perfect with that um, top that she's wearing as well. So congratulations Lee, we love your skirt. Another sewist who made a vintage inspired dress won the next prize. So this prize is sponsored by Atelier Jupe and it's four PDF patterns. And the winner of this prize is... L90. So Linda's dress is a, um, she used a pattern that recreates a Mary Quant dress, the famous Georgie dress. So it's a 1962 design and um, Linda originally saw this dress at the Bendigo um, Art Gallery and then um, found out that Alice Co, I think it's Alice, uh, Alice and Co patterns and the V&A Museum were collaborating to um, make a sewing pattern and that's where Linda got the pattern from. So she used a, um, a Duna cover and uh, it just looks sensational. Love that ruffle around the neckline and the ends of the sleeves. Um, it's just such a cool dress and um, yeah, we loved it. So congratulations, Linda. The next prize is sponsored by So Different and this is for three PDF patterns. And the winner of this prize is Anarchy Quilter. And this is Rhonda and she made a fantastic dress. Now if you read her post she mentions that her starting point was um, a pattern from Stocks Pattern. Again that's new to me, Stocks Patterns um, and it's their Zephyr dress. So that was her starting point but if you go and have a look at that dress pattern I know you, you can't really tell. So there was a lot of drafting here. So a sensational effort. And um, it's a bias dress pattern. And Rhonda 
wanted to um, add a frill wanted to make it wrap and also to add a frill around it and it's just really beautiful uh, I love the fact that she's also got a frill around the sleeves as well she thought that this might be the toile to wear to a, a wedding but she loves it so much and I can see why this is the one she's going to wear to the wedding. It's a really cool fabric, really unusual print and we just both loved it. So congratulations Rhonda. The next sewist also loves unusual prints and this prize is sponsored by Friday Pattern Companies and the winner receives two PDFs and the winner is Angela Makes. Now Angela had I think three entries and Kristen and I both had one of her dresses on our favourites list. Um, so when we came together, you know, we had to, <laughs> we had to give her a prize. Um, Angela loves bold print and I'm just going to show you one of hers. Um, it's a wildwood wrap dress and this one um, was new to her, this um, pattern company and pattern. And we just loved the bold design, the, the red and blue. If you want to check out Angela's Instagram feed, you'll also see the fantastic um, um, Millicent wrap dress that she made. Um, and there is another top, a beautiful surplus um, wrap top that she made as well. So congratulations, Angela. The next prize is sponsored by Pauline Alice and it's four PDF prizes. So since we've um, just been talking about fun, vibrant prints, I thought it a good time to announce this winner and this person made a by hand london hannah dress in a sensational fabric the winner is sue 13 sews now this just put a smile uh, on our faces when we saw this i mean it's a fantastic um, pattern and gorgeous print but it was the pattern matching i mean how perfect do those ice blocks um, line up on that bodice, on both sides of the bodice. It's beautiful work. So thank you, Sue, for your entry. You really made our day when we saw that. So most of the wraps were sort of wraps at the front, but there were some that had wraps at the back. And there are two winners in that sort of category. And so I'll just mention the, the first of these wins a um, four PDF patterns from Maison Feuve. So wonderful prize. And the winner is Gabrielle Up So Late. Now Gabrielle made um, what ostensibly is a really uh, simple uh, pattern. It was Simplicity 9010. And it has a elasticized waist, grown on sleeves, and the wrap um, is at the back. And she played around and was also, um, um, you know, because of the oversized nature of it, she was playing around and shifted the wrap to the front, like essentially wearing it back to front. And it's in a really gorgeous print. It falls beautifully and I just want to make one too. So congratulations, Gabrielle. So to Grow has donated two PDFs um, and the winner of this prize is another entrant with a wrap at the back and that is Ivory So. And this sewist made a vintage McCall's pattern, 4541 is the number. And there was actually another sewist who made up this vintage pattern as well. It's a fantastic looking pattern. Um, this version used a border print, so it creates a really um, glamorous look. The fabric's superb. And she um, 
um, made the frill a little bit wider on the bodice also so just a beautiful beautiful make so congratulations Ivory So. Doretta Davies Patterns has sponsored the next prize and she's donated three PDF patterns, another three, she's already donated three, this is another three and the winner of this prize is Catherine from So Much Sewing. Catherine made a gorgeous version of the cashmere rose, rose clair dress. Um, the fabric is this beautiful pale blush pink with this black pebble design all over it. I believe it's a viscose crepe. It just looks really elegant. I love the ruffle on the bottom and um, she's just all dressed up ready to hit the town it looks like. So beautiful, beautiful dress, really elegant from Catherine. So congratulations to you Catherine. So from Pebble print we go to checks and the winner of this prize will receive four PDF patterns from paper cut patterns. So this person made a, um, a surplus wrap top with a peplin and it was made in two different size check fabrics lovely um, tan and black check the winner is made by Madeline Claire um, so Madeline or Madeline I'm sorry Madeline um, made just a beautiful top um, she's made a number of the McCall's um, McCall's 7969 um, dresses but this she prefers actually her hack which is to cut it off and to make a little um, a top out of it and it just looks great I just love how she's placed the different size checks the it works beautifully in that fabric which is um, lovely I don't think she specifies what it is but it's a beautiful um, atelier brunette fabric so beautiful make so congratulations madeline claire so thank you to all those indie pattern sponsors we honestly couldn't do this challenge without you um, now we're on to the prizes that Kristen from the Dahlia Society and I at Cloth Edit have donated so I'm going to start with uh, Kristen's prize. So Kristen is donating um, her um, next subscription box valued at $100 and also a $50 voucher for her shop. And the winner of this prize is Sews for Days. And this is Denise. And Denise made a Maison Ferve Soho dress. Now, um, because the front image of Denise's post was the pattern on the fabric, I thought it was just a plans post and didn't realize until recently that her dress was behind this also. Um, so it's a gorgeous um, wrap dress and uh, we love the fabric that she's chosen and she made it um, her own so instead of having the the cuff at the end of the sleeve she took off the cuff and gave the sleeve a bit more of a bishop bishop sleeve shape um, say that three times fast and it just looks really good i actually think it looks better um, with that shaped sleeve on the dress because it's not an overly full dress anyway it's stunning it's really really stunning so congratulations Denise on winning this prize so the next sewist has won the $100 gift voucher from Cloth Edit and this sewist made a spectacular dress it has um, vintage vibes 
but to me it's also very modern looking. So the winner is Silk and Vintage Etc. So congratulations Susan. Susan made the Rose Claire, another Rose Claire dress in the winner's circle um, by Cashmere Rett. Um, but with some modifications. So there's an extra frill on the bottom. Um, she swapped out the sleeves, although the sleeve head is the cashmere ret pattern sleeve. She used a McCall sleeve um, for the, the tiered sleeves. So it has two tone, two colorways of a fabric, um, but she also uses a vintage pleated lace and ribbon and it's beautiful it's so romantic and gorgeous we love this susan thank you so much for entering and congratulations right which leaves us with the winner of the major cloth edit prize which is a 250 and fifty dollar voucher to spend at cloth edit and this winner is Melissa creates so this is Melissa and Melissa entered two items and both items were in our Kristen's and and my favorites list um, for a similar reason uh, it's her play with border print and you know it she wrangled this border print into um, a jumpsuit um, it's just beautiful this um, beautiful border print with blue in it but it, it goes into white and then she's um, made the bodice in the bolder portion of the border print uh, it's just you know really lovely lovely work and the one that we love even more is this one it is the um, she made our lady of leisure screwdriver top now this is a beautiful wrap blouse and again it's just elevated um, and looks you know like a designer item because of this beautiful match between the border print and the design of the top so the top has these sort of um, tucks in the sleeves and those tucks combined with how um, Melissa's placed the border print just look amazing um, the print is great the black and white against with the floral contrast and then I love how she sort of used the um, how she's the portion of the border print that she's used for that tie belt um, to sort of break it all up it just the balance is beautiful and it, it's just divine so yes Melissa creates um, I hope you enjoyed seeing all these wonderful wonderful um, winners and I hope that there's some patterns in there that you didn't know about and uh, I'll be back very soon with something different from So Wrapped. And um, so thank you once again to all the sponsors. Thank you to all the entrants. It was fantastic to see your work. Congratulations once again to Melissa for winning that prize. We'll be in con or if the winners could um, message us through Instagram and that um, with your email and we can get the ball rolling with the sponsors. Um, I think that's it. Um, yes, so that's the end of So Wrapped for this year. Um, we'll be, Kristen and I will be back next year, I'm sure, probably for our most popular challenge, which is So April Blouse. So until next time, bye bye. Before I go, I just wanted to thank Kristen for being such a great co-host with me. I have loved working with her in all of these challenges and she just makes it so much fun. It was great chatting with you today about um, all our winners. So I'll be joining you again in another challenge soon. Mwah.